We're joined right now on RealCulture.com by Tracy Bowdy. She was with O'Maffer. Welcome today, Tracy. Thank you for having me. Tracy, when we look at uh, Ontario, uh, nobody's really got uh, down to some seating yet. Um, but when we look at the pest spectrum, which pest do you feel in corn is the biggest threat this spring? Well, typically when we have a cool, wet spring, uh, we tend to see two big outbreaks um, of either black cutworm or true armyworm. And I think we are going to see both uh, play a role this year, um, mainly because we have such a delayed planting. Okay, so I guess one of the first things that producer would say is what kind of yield damage can these two pests cause? Well, for black cutworm, um, they can move into the seedling crop and cut actual plants off at the ground level. And, and um, if, if guys aren't out there scouting, they can find um, some significant gaps in their field later in the season and wonder what happened. Um, and if populations get heavy enough, they can start to see uh, yield loss to that. So uh, really, it's a pest that can be controlled uh, if it's caught in time and, and managed in time. So, so what, what is the proper way for out. us to scout for them then? Oh, so um, one of the key things is, is in particular, if you already know that some of your fields had some decent patches of weeds because these moths are flying in from the States, they're looking for green vegetation to lay their eggs on and, and chickweed's the ideal location for them. So we encourage growers to, to, you know, scout their fields, in particular those high-risk areas, and look for any signs of leaf feeding and any um, plants being cut off at the base of the, the plant. And if they are seeing that, um, then they, they may need to manage if, if they've reached threshold. Yeah, I read on your on your blog, bodybugblog.com, that you, you think some of the stormy weather is pushing the, uh, the moths north? Absolutely. Um, the main reason why I think we're at a threat this year for cutworm is because of the very heavy um, moth catches that they're seeing in the states. We don't trap here in Ontario. We don't have the the um, program in place to do so, but we've always relied on the U.S. Um, captures, and they've been pretty accurate at uh, giving us a prediction as to when we're at risk. And so those um, traps in the states are catching quite a lot this year, and because the storm fronts have gone directly overhead of them, um, we're at risk of them bringing in and carrying in those moths into Ontario and dropping them here. Is there certain parts of the field that the when the you know when when we have the cutworm if we have an infestation in our field is there certain areas of the field that are more prone to uh, infestation? Typically, wherever there's green mats of, of weeds um, or any green vegetation that they can go and lay their eggs on, and I think that's probably the bigger risk when we see a delay in planting because the larvae start up on those weeds and by the time the grower gets out to control those weeds and plants um, the corn starts to struggle to come up and these very healthy large larvae that have been feeding on those weeds moves over to the, the small corn and does more damage so um, typically if um, these guys know that they have a, a decent mat of any kind of green vegetation on their field and can't get in because of the rain um, to spray those, those weeds yet, those are the areas that they're going to need to focus on. Another important point I, I thought that you put it, you had in your, in your blog was that don't assume that all BT uh, varieties are control. Can you talk a little about that? That's exactly right. Um, definitely the yield guard products, the Cry 1AB doesn't have any control over um, black cutworm. The Cry 1F, which is the Herculex and the Smart Stack products, has some control, but we tend to see in particular that control be most effective on the younger larva. And that's the risk is if you plant um, a Herculex or a Smart Stack and you assume that you're going to get decent control, if it's a year like this where you're going to have potential of larger larva moving from the weeds over the corn, then you may still see some damage. And with this pest, in particular with cutworm, it is something that you can do a decent rescue treatment with and get good control, nearly 100% control, as long as you, you time it well and, and catch them before um, they, they are too big and, and um, take down too much corn. So in terms of getting more information on the, the cutworm, uh, where should producers go, Tracy? Sorry, where if, if a sorry, if a producer wants more information on the cutworm, uh, is there a certain website uh, they should go to? 
Yes, absolutely. They can either go to uh, bodybugblog.com, if you can spell my last name. Um, that directs you to actually more information. Um, but in particular, the OMAFRA website has our agronomy guide, publication 811, that has all the details on black cup rum. Cool, Tracy. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, great.